If I press play, you're thinking there aren't three clones. There are actually. Look, they're there. Okay, so we have the start of a working game. We've got a fish and a shark, and I can catch. Um, well, uh, that's going to take a lot, honestly. I hope I can get that close. Look at that. I'm still catching all the fish. It's not a difficult game, is it? What I really, or might be a bit tricky to get that one. Oh, he beat me. But of course, I can catch him up. Got him. <laughs> but the whole point is, it's really not a difficult game. It might be a lot harder. If there were three fish swimming across and trying to catch them all at the same time might be a bit difficult. And that's where we're going to go with this. Now the first thing that I'm going to do, just for aesthetic reasons, is I'm going to get rid of the X, Y. So I'm going to go down to stage and I'm going to go across to backdrops and I'm going to choose the underwater one. Um, and that looks lovely. Look, you can see the shark and the fish. Oh, giant shark. So let's go back to code and let's go back to the fish. So. What I want is when the game starts, I want to make three copies of this fish. Now, you might be thinking, well, okay, why don't you just duplicate that two more times, you get three fish. And in the first version of Scratch, Scratch 1.4, that was how you had to do things. But in Scratch 2, and it's still in Scratch 3, you're able to clone an object, make copies of it. So to do that, I need to basically do the following. I'm going to break this bit of code apart. And when the green flag is clicked, I don't want to start doing that. I want to make three clones. Now, if I press control and scroll down, right at the bottom, I have these three blocks all about clones. I want to create a clone of myself, but I want to do it three times. So I need, if I scroll back up, a repeat loop and put that in there and I'll do three. Now, if I press play, you're thinking there aren't three clones. And there are actually. Look, they're there. And the fourth one, of course, is the original. So I actually have four fish here. We'll come back to that a little bit later on. But when I press play, there are in fact three clones there and the original. But the thing is, is that I want this to happen on the clones. So, back down where we were, when I start as clones, the block that I need. And now watch what happens. If I press stop, I press go, three cloned fish start swimming across the screen. How cool is that? And the shark eats one. And look, I get another one. And if the shark eats one, that's good. I'm quite happy with that. But there's a couple of things that I want to deal with. Number one, the original fish is still there. And that's a problem because, you know, we don't want it there. We just want the clones. And number two, when I press the game, all three clones appeared at the same time. That's somewhat annoying. I might want a bit of a delay between those clones. So one, how can we get rid of the fish? And two, how can we have the clone start staggered? Well, this is going to be your task. So let's look at this bits of code. When the green flag is clicked, the original fish will repeat three clones of itself, and then the clones will do this. So what I really want to say is the following. Original fish, when the game starts, it needs to be visible. If we go to looks, we could, all the way down the bottom, have these show and hide commands. So when the game starts, the original fish must be visible, then it creates three clones, and then the original fish must disappear. But how can we introduce a slight delay? It's as if maybe when we repeat the clone, it goes one clone, two clone, three clone. But what about if we had in, oops, in control actually at the top there, a wait command, oh, a wait command. Maybe that could be in the loop, but it's going to wait one second. But 
We know about random numbers, but here's something else that you need to know about. Whilst we can have a random number, a delay between 1 and 10 seconds might be a bit too long. But in operators, there's another one here, divided by. And you could put this inside there. Now, that's going to pick a random number between 1 and 10, 5 or 6 or 7. But if you divide that by 10, 5 divided by 10 is 0 0.5. So that way you can have a delay of like half a second. 7 divided by 10 is 0 0.7, so that's, well, 0 0.7 of a second. So what I want you to do is this. Your task is this. I want you to give me three clones. I want you to make sure the original disappears. And I want those clones to start randomly with a little bit of a delay. Now, where you put that delay, that's up to you. It could possibly go more than one place in here.